everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy. I hope you're doing really well whenever or wherever in the world that you are. I hope it's as gray and cool and cozy where you are as it is here because it is very much giving me fall and I'm ready to live my best life this fall season. Today I'm going to be chatting about the books that I loosely plan, fingers crossed, on reading the month of October. Some of these books are spooky, but some of them are not. So we shall see which mood reigns supreme this October. There are a couple books that I know I'm going to read this month because they're for book clubs. And the first book that I know that I'm gonna have to read is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is our next pick for our like mother, daughter, family, friend book club called Broads Who Book. And this is my pick. And I am praying that my pick this year is better than my pick last year. I'm looking at you, Ancient Nine, because Ancient Nine was bad. It was just not good. It let me down so, so bad. It let me down. I was embarrassed because my book was everyone's least favorite book from last year. And so I must redeem myself. And so this is my pick. All I really know about this one is that it follows Carrie, who I think we meet in Malibu Rising. I think it's just following her through her kind of tumultuous tennis career. I don't really know more than that and I don't really want to know more than that. I've read several of her books and I always have a really good time. Like some of them I like more than others. I'm really looking forward to like what cameos we're going to get from other characters in her little like Taylor's Jenkins Reid universe that she's got going on. Yeah, I just love that I think everyone is a real person that I have to constantly stop myself from Googling characters or looking them up on IMDb because they are fictional, but they feel so real. So I'm really excited to jump into Carrie Soto is Back this October. The other book that I know I'm gonna read for a book club, this book club is the group of my best girlfriends from college and we call ourselves the Bibliophile Biddies. I love them dearly. This month we are reading The Woman, what is it called? The Women of Chateau Lafayette, maybe? Like I always do, you'll see it on the screen. So if, you, if that's not the name, you'll see the real one on the screen. I don't, again, I don't know much about this book. I know that it's a historical fiction and I think it's based off of true events in history. It is just about these three different women throughout different time periods in history who are connected by this one castle in France. And I don't know much more than that. I do think there's some World War II setting elements in this one, which you all know is a little hit or miss for me, but I'm curious. I, I don't read a ton of historical fiction. Either way, the book clubs that we do, we do them on Zoom because we kind of live all over the country. They are always a blast. I mean, they're like 60% us catching up and chatting about life, and then we always eventually get to the books. The other two books that I'll probably read this month because they became available on my Hoopla or my Libby app, and the first one I now have the audiobook for, I own the physical copy of, oh, let me go get it. Okay, the first one that I'm, I've already started reading it, Shh. but the first book that I'm probably gonna finish in October is Black Cake by, Charmaine, I can't read it backwards on the screen, by Charmaine Wilkerson. And this book, I'm very excited. As you can see, it's the only book of the month book I've ever purchased. So I don't know too, too much about this book. I did in my, I think my physical TBR video, I did kind of like read the, the inside summary and I have already forgotten some of what I read. But what I do remember, I think this is about two kind of estranged siblings as they uncover some like unexpected or mysterious things about their family after their mom has died. And so I have started it. I'm about, I'm on page 20. So I'm just at the very, very beginning and I'm intrigued. It's already a multi POV and so I love a dual perspective books. I'm enjoying this so far. I mean, it's a little, it's a little soon. I'm only 20 pages in, but I'm really intrigued. I'm curious to see where this goes and kind of 
Can you guys see? Lance is on my bed. Look at her. Look at her go. She's so cute. Anyways, okay, back to the books. I know that you can hear, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to finally be getting to this. I love a story that follows a family across multiple generations. And it sounds like that's exactly what this is. So I'm really excited. I will certainly keep you posted and let you know my thoughts at the October wrap up. Also this cover, I mean, she's beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. The next book that I recently acquired the audiobook for, which we love, I love the dual, like listening to it as I physically read. That is the perfect way to read a book if you ask me. But anyways, I got the audiobook from my Libby app for Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow, and I am really, really excited. First of all, this is not the thickest book, which we love to see. It makes me feel a little less intimidated by physically reading the books when the page count is a little more modest. This book follows three generations of women from Memphis, I think. And again, I love a story that follows all these interesting family dynamics across multiple generations. I find that so interesting and I love, I love that dynamic. And again, I love this cover. I know you really shouldn't buy a book based on its cover, but sometimes the beautiful cover matches the stunning content on the inside and that is always the hope. I'm excited to read this one. Now, one of my best friends from work last year, Amber, shout out to Amber if you're watching. Uh, her and I did Black a thon last year and we had so much fun. I discovered a few new favorite authors last year and I had a lot of fun reading spooky books, which isn't normally my jam, but I really enjoyed myself. So I wanna make sure that I do it again. And so I've created a, a small but mighty TBR for our Black a thon I don't think her and I are gonna follow the prompts exactly. I think we're gonna more honor the spirit of this readathon and just read, you know, suspense and thrillers and mysteries and like witchy things from black authors around the diaspora. And I can't wait. So I'm thinking of definitely picking up the group read, which is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. And I actually coincidentally bought that one in a recent mini book haul. So I have the physical book. So I'll definitely get to that this month in October. The next book that I'm planning on reading for Black a thon is Tiffany D. Jackson's new release, The Weight of Blood. Yeah, I think this book is pretty brand spanking new. It came out in September. And this YA horror novel follows a biracial teenager as her Georgia high school hosts its first integrated prom. And I think there's a casual murder at said prom and Maddie gets blamed for it. And so I'm very interested to see where this story goes. I've read a few Tiffany D. Jackson books and I've always really enjoyed them. So I'm sure this will be no different. And yeah, I'm excited to buddy read this with my friend Amber. The next book I'm hoping to get to this month is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. And I feel like I'm the only person on the internet who has not yet read this. So it's about time I read this book. I, again, don't know much. If you haven't picked up on the trend, I do like to go into books pretty blind. Occasionally, I like to know about a trope or a theme or like one main point from the premise. But outside of that, I do like to go into books kind of as a blank slate so that my expectations are tempered and that I'm surprised by all the twists and turns and reveals as I read. I know almost nothing about this book other than I think it's about some witchy stuff. And I have seen it compared as kind of a cross between the Salem Witch Trials and um, Handmaid's Tale. I think this book is gonna scare me, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. There are a few others that I have on like my might read queue. Cirque, Cirque Berserk, I think it's called. I forget who it's by. Again, it's gonna be on the screen. And this one is some kind of like horror novella that I think takes place at a carnival of some kind or like an amusement park. And yeah, it, this cover is scary. So I think as someone who really, not only doesn't tend to read a lot of horror or mystery or thrillers, like I kind of actively avoid these genres. I'm really trying to put my brave pants on, try something new because I was really pleasantly surprised last year. I'm hoping for that same momentum and enthusiasm and enjoyment to continue for this year. Anyways, those are all the books that I am 
probably gonna read this month of October. Definitely for Black Awinathon, I'm really excited to be participating in that. Even if we don't do the whole prompt bingo board thing, it's just like a fun time, you know? Definitely let me know what's on your October TBR down below. I'd love to know what spooky books you're really excited to read this fall season. Are you also joining Black Awinathon? If so, let me know and leave your TBR slash recommendations down below. I'm, you know, I'm excited. So I have a lot of energy towards this right now. And so the more recommendations, the better. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.